Okay, everybody. If you haven't heard, Trump has been acquitted in the Senate. The first article of impeachment, he was acquitted by 52 to 48. The charges are dropped. On the second article of impeachment, the vote was 53 to 46. 47, my bad. So, that one has been dropped. Trump has been acquitted on both articles of impeachment. Let's look at the record right now for just this week. Monday, the Iowa caucus for the Democratic Party just was a complete and utter disaster. Y'all, y'all, the Democrats in the area pretty much showed that they can't do anything correctly. We got the results for the Republican side before the night was over. Democratic side, the Democrat side, had waited nearly 24 hours to get the results. What the heck? Then last night, then after the State of the Union address by Trump, Nancy Pelosi decided to throw a little hissy fit by tearing up her uh, copy of Trump's speech. A speech that included the announcement of programs to help uh, children that were premature birth, children who were born prematurely, awards and medals given to several uh, recipients, a military family reunited, and the announcement of several other programs. Pelosi tore that paper, tore that speech up in front of everyone. Now people are going to say she did it as a response to Trump not shaking her hand. Hey, we could argue that she st- she's the one who started the impeachment process. In the house, so we could could have written it off, but she decided to tear it, tear the speech apart on live camera. Then today, the Senate acquits Trump on impeachment. Three strikes, Democrats, in one week. I mean, the Democratic caucus in Iowa, we still don't know who actually won it. There's talks of tampering and hacking and everything like that. Cheating as well. As well. State of the Union, hey, Pelosi screwed up for the Democrats for, on that. Yeah, if she didn't do it, hey, there could have been an argument. People who were going to vote for a Democrat could have stayed that way. But after what she did, C-SPAN had, pe- had it where people can call in. They had majority Democrats calling in, calling out Pelosi for what she did. Several of these callers said that they were going to vote Democrat. Several of them voted Hillary. 
But after what she did, that was the last straw. They decided, hey, you know what? This isn't the Democratic Party I knew. So they're going, Some, a lot of them admitted, announced that they were voting for Trump. And now that Trump is acquitted, the whole impeachment is out the window. Democrats, you screwed up. You gave Trump his best week. Think about that. Remember it did when November rolls around. Think of what the nominees are wanting to give you. Think of what that could do to the economy. And then think of what Trump is offering. What he's done in the since 2017. This is why me and lots of people have been saying Trump's going to win. The Democratic Party is fractured. I was thinking, hey, we had four parties. Republican, Independent, Moderate Democrat, Far Left Democrat. It might be, Democratic Party might be more fractured than just... Two, it might be faction four. We don't know. But majority of people, they did a poll after the State of the Union and 90, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, about 93 or 95% of Republicans agreed with what Trump said in his uh, State of the Union. 30% of Democrats, 30% agreed with Trump. 80% of independents agreed with Trump. Remember those numbers, 93, 30, 80. You're going to see Trump win in a landslide. Just look at the nominees that you have for the Democrats. That's all I'm saying. Look at the nominees for the Democrats. Look at what Trump is offering. And look at his record so far as president. Now I might tell you something. That's all. <laughs>